Hello everybody, and this is Skyflight44, aka Zex44. We're gonna play yet another War of the Ring. Oh my god, I've been playing a lot of these for you. Except this one's not going to be ending very shortly. I'm going to be playing this one as the dwarves. Not my, I'm not gonna say it's my specialty, but I'm definitely strong at using the dwarves. Or, or at least the dwarves are just overpowered and I can very much use them. And I made a very, very helpful uh, hero that's extremely expensive. But this one strategy at a very late levels can destroy an enemy's army. <laughs> and, oh my god, how I made him is going to be awesome. But uh, if you can see here, I'm going to be facing off against three medium armies. Three medium AIs I'm going to be facing off against. And this is going to be difficult. I, I'm actually walking into this never having tried this before. I know for a fact that a one-on-one -on -one match is pretty much going to end up me winning most likely. A one-on-two is really just a two-front war. I have two armies for each of them, and I can still very, very... I think if I can split them up, I can easily defeat both. But three, I mean, I, I gave myself the best starting point for myself, and I gave them crappy ones, but as I... They're gonna have almost the entire map, and it's going to be incredibly hard to beat them. Not to mention it's going to be 12 advancing armies I'm going to have to actually face against. This is going to be very difficult, and it's going to be a lot of fun. One-on-one, -on -one, any of these people would fall so easily, but right now, right now, they might just win. Now let's start this bullshit. Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually kind of scared here. Now who am I fighting against? Who am I fighting against? I'm fighting against an old faction, Isengard, and Men of the West. Oh, that's fun. We didn't really get the truly evil factions here. So Isengard really isn't going to be too much of a hassle. Uh, medium Isengard's not going to be that hard. Men of the West might be a little pain in the ass. But I, I know for a fact I am not going to have any trouble with the Elves. Uh, I am the Dwarves. So I do have my slow unit so they can ambush me fairly easily. But um, especially against up Isengard who also have some fairly heavier infantry. Uh, dwarves destroy an open melee. Hmm. Yeah, definitely gonna need that mine shaft. So opening. Uh, what makes this place so very defensible is not just the high command points for most of these, especially Mirkwood, Iron Hills, and Rune, but these three give you 500 resources every single turn and that is going to really make all the difference I need to be able to make as many actual um, or that uh, I need to make as much units as possible to protect my borders and hmm, I, I don't know what to do with these already who should I give them to um, I'm going to be doing primarily most of my fighting with Loin, King Dane, and Gimli. Gimli is amazing. And one of the most powerful heroes in the game, I think. King Dane is an amazing hero because he's the only one out of these three I actually think gives leadership bonus. But Loin is amazing when it comes to taking out enemy structures. But it... Other than that, he's actually sort of weak in the health department. Gimli has plenty of health, and King Dane can heal himself, at least. 
Screw it, I'm giving it to King Dane. The leadership bonus, if for anything else, just the leadership bonus. Run next turn. Now, I got Everbore, and I'm going to be going straight for um, this fortress. Very, very useful. Now, I'm probably going to be as a. Uh, can't go over these uh, mountains to get to Rune. And uh, Iron Hills. I'm most likely going to have these just being completely resources. Uh, with that, um, I think these give you 500. Only 300. Uh, I'm still going to be getting out 1700 from both of these. Both of them have mines. All mines on them. And together, that's going to be a very huge uh, amount of units. A very, very large amount of units. Now, um, I'm going to see if I can actually rush for Karn Doom. But um, if I can't... Yeah, well, I'm not going to cry over it. I mean, my enemies actually have to fight for their um, territory around here. Oh, looks like I going to get a nice start. Man of the West not doing too well. But, uh, I, like I said before, I am fighting against a lot of uh, actual... What was it called? Uh, armies. So this is not going to be the easiest thing ever. You go there, I'm going to steal this. Wait, what do you have? Dagger lad, um... You could possibly... I'm gonna make a fortress there sack in a hall of warriors. Get another one of those. Yeah, I really need the mine shaft so I can actually start taking out units from battle. Then I just take every single unit I can. And then... Because that's the easiest way to actually make units, in my opinion. Forge works. See, I really can't use many. I don't have the money. Definitely gonna need a Hall of Warriors over here. I can see plenty of action over here. Now, I'll probably go and... Should I take High Pass? I feel Saruman might be going for Rivendell first. I think Condooms that would be take me three turns. Yeah, I'm going for High Pass. It's not that very good a territory, only 360 command points. But if I can get this and put a fortress here, hell yes, that's going to be useful. Rudar will be very useful. Just need to start making a few more units. I knew it, Rivendell. I'll fight for this then. I'll fight for Rudar. Okay. Aldea versus Gloin. Ooh, and they have a um, cab unit. So they got the um, Lancers, I think. That's not going to be too difficult. Gloin can do whatever he wants. I uh, just don't know if he gets his uh, first power. It's pretty much like a wave power. Very useful against structures, especially, but uh, very, very useful. Hmm. I re I'm really kind of afraid of this map. Uh, I don't like this map. Fine craftsmanship. I actually, now that I really remember this map, I hate this map. Build it. There's a battle coming. I know. Uh, but let's see. Out of everything I can use, if I had 50, I'm uh, not 50, five more, I could go straight for barrage. That would be amazing. But I don't have that ability. Definitely getting rally call to get men of Dale. And I'm just going to go for heal and rebuild. Very, very useful rebuild and very, very useful heal. Rally call 
and summon men of Dale. <laughs> oh my god. This is very, this is what you want to go. If it's for a long battle, I, you might want to go for dwarven riches. What? But, Let's yeah, go it's, I didn't ooh. like it there. Yeah, definitely go after that, um, um, little minion cave. I'm gonna destroy them. Probably goblins. Yeah, it's, I think it's goblins. I've played on this map many times before. I need him to at least to get up a few levels. Aww. They're attacking. That's bullshit. I just, I don't really like giving them um, uh, auto or let the auto slam uh, because it. He, for some reason, the AI will use it, but uh, they use it pretty stupidly. Oh, that's crap ton of damage. Actually, this thing will. Um, it's either shake. Oh yeah, shake foundation. It'll automatically open up a gate. Amazing. This doesn't belong here. All of these things this are way. just amazing against structures. They do I so much damage. My arms get tired, you know. Okay, one last one of those. And then I'm gonna build a Hall of Warriors. So, um, if anybody is listening to this actually really wants me to go back to burnout. I'm kind of sorry. I've had so much freaking work and I'm really not going to get free of any of that work soon. Oh yeah. You are all screwed. You cannot face against a dwarf. Damn elves. Look at them. They think they can win. Ooh, that's why they think they can win. Hey, look! How do you can't do shit? I told you, you can't go up against a dwarf! Ah, uh, idiots think they can face off against the dwarves. The elves are basically, at least to me, a rush faction. They are... Their, especially their infantry, actually mostly all of their units, are so easy to kill. The dwarves, on the other hand, aren't easy to kill. And that is going to be the death of everybody. Okay. But, uh, I've had plenty of work and I'm not getting out of it. I've had like two days to actually do anything. And, well... I really can't be doing this all the time. I really have barely any time to do any fun stuff. Come on, Gloin. Oh, I love that power. Get some more dwarves. Remember always to expand. If I could actually expand over there. Oh, I hate you, you damn elves and your speed. We have the best materials. We're attacking our resources. <laughs> Look how easy they fall. I won't be long that is here. pathetic. Go in there. We'll call for some guardians. And come out here. The mines and the tunnels in this game really, really help. We can't stay here. Axes! Should be a better view. Built with dwarven fine craftsmanship. But uh, I'm probably gonna Give get to Where is the build site? Oh the call the um Here we go. Here I'll are. probably get I to some more your side. The battle calls. Damn uh, burnout three eventually. The game is a lot of fun, it's just I don't really feel like all of that bullshit right now. 
Because that game can get to the bullshit part very, very early. The last thing I actually did was... Actually, I think the elves are somewhere over here. But, uh... Really, it was so much bullshit. Because I was going with the, um... What was it called? Oh, yep. Yeah, bullshit. You get in there. Okay, those mines are gone. And... Let me just get out my dwarves. You get the hell out of there, Builder. Kill him! Don't just stay there! Huh, those are already dead. They might actually be over there. They're just going a strange route. Oh yeah, I really hate the speed of the um, elves. You know what's the fun part? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not playing that from Middle Earth One. Holy shit! What's with all these guys? Come on, you axe throwers! I really just lost all those men of Dale. That is bullshit. There's plenty of work to go around. Now I can't hide from a dwarf. Weapons dwarf. Okay, see if you can find them. I haven't played this game in a little while because. My uh, computer, actually not my computer, the mouse that I use has uh, kind of been going screwy and I've been playing a lot more of the first game because I, I was actually planning on, oh go, 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 go away, go away. <gasps> he didn't even die from the power, he died from the warrior. Screw you and all of your elfiness. Oh, found him. Oh, you're getting destroyed. I'll come back for you. This one has to go. Ah, damn it. Go away, go far, far away. Actually, wait, they're probably gonna go after whoever they're shooting. Get ready, dwarves! There's a battle coming. I know it. Quickly now. I'll stand by your side. Uh is that Oh, that mine shaft almost up. Axis! Go into the mines. Gather some axis dwarves! You go into the mines. Okay, not all of you. Yep, just attack them. Hopefully you don't die. <laughs> I love Gloin. So very, very powerful. Oh, yep, I am not that very great at using the dwarves early on. Wait, wait, did I lose units? <laughs> oh, they forfeit. That's strange. They were still doing fairly well. For some reason, I'm having more difficulty using going against a uh, medium AI than I was against a hard. 
Maybe it's just because I'm using the dwarves and I'm not used to using the dwarves. Oh, well, probably should have had a practice game, but who, who really cares? Okay, now let's go. Um, hmm. I got plenty of units here. 